What's poppin' my honey boo boos? It's your girl Des and today in this video I am super super excited because today's video is sponsored by MJ Arsenal One of my favorite rig companies but they are not only just a rig company no 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 because my honey boo boos they recently just came out with a bong like what how lit it's called the catchy the cachet honestly y'all come for me for not knowing how to pronounce certain products but honey boo boos it's not my fault it's really not like i struggle okay i struggle but it's okay because i know how to hit this baby and that's what really matters and as y'all could tell i've been using it it's a little dirty but it's so cute i love me beaker bongs and this one's super dope because it's just like a little bit bigger than my hand but still perfect size for wherever you want to go and then also it has a secret compartment right here i don't know if y'all could see too well but that compartment let me just show you what it does. That compartment is actually meant for you to store your nugs in there. So that, and then also it comes with like a, a corkscrew. Um, pretty much it looks like this one. Also, don't mind me because I did lose a nail yesterday. I literally fell off of a swing. Insert picture. <laughs> yeah, so I lost a nail. Okay, so now I'm. Missing a middle nail, but that's okay. I think we should hit this baby. Hey, we lit though. And now I need to just rave about real quick the amazing mg arsenal mini rigs these are so dope they're perfect for on the go but honestly i use mine daily because it is just a writer this one is honestly one of my new favorites just because it's one of the tiniest ones as y'all could tell it's like not even half the size of my hand because it's like smaller than that we got this little cool one and honestly i forget the name of all these different ones but you guys could check out their website mjarsenal.com or i'll have the link be the first link down below in my description for you guys to go check them out because these are my favorite rigs. If y'all see me taking a dab, it's most likely from one of these babies. So on that note, let's take a dab. MJ Arsenal also sells a bunch of dope smoking accessories. So you know, you gotta have your dabber tool. And this one's super cute. It's from MJ Arsenal. It has this little spoony side and then it has this little stabby side. Perfect for like shatter and then crumble. There's also this super cute eyelash station that I love. It's pink and it holds your Q-tips. And I put a little bit of alcohol in there, but you could put, you know, really whatever you want. So then that way, after you're done Hitting your dab, you stick your Q-tip in there, and then you could clean your little nail, keep it nice and clean. But honestly, you could put 710 cleaner in there. I just put alcohol in there, but you know, you put water, whatever you want, you put nothing. But anyways, cheers. I need to tell you guys the story time of me hitting wax for the first time. I remember I actually uploaded a YouTube video titled dabbing for the first time and it actually did very well on my channel and it was because a lot of you guys thought I was dabbing for the very first time. Which, you know, makes sense. Like, that was my video title. And I will admit, 100% honesty, like, on God, on everything, I did not clickbait. Like, I did not know about clickbait back then. Clickbait was not really a thing back then, or at least not like it is now. Um, so what I meant by that title was that it was the first time I dab on my own. It was the first time that I bought wax, the first time I bought a rig, and I bought a torch, and I bought butane, and I was dabbing at home by myself. All the other times I've hit a dab, it was always a free dab at the dispo. It was always with a friend who they had their own rig, their whole setup. Literally, they would torch it up. I wouldn't have to do nothing except for inhale. And it just felt like I was hitting a bong, but I knew it was wax. So those are the only times I've ever dabbed before that. So when I filmed that video, it was like, oh, my first time dabbing. But I meant like the first time on my own. So a lot of you guys came for me because you were like, 
this is not your first time clearly but uh, it kind of was in a way <laughs> but I want to tell you guys the story of legit my ever first time even hitting it just like it was a bong you know it was my friend's setup it was my friend's rig but it was the first time I ever hit a wax bowl aka a dab and that story is a pretty funny one so it's about to be lit though before we do get into that i do want to take another dab get extra lit with you guys but i also want to let you guys know that i am dropping a new merch collection so my beanie is part of the new collection it's the was popping beanie and if you guys want to win a beanie all you got to do is drop a comment on this video right now i'm actually going to be doing a giveaway for this right here i'll just mention it all right now i was going to mention it at the end of the video hopefully i remember to also mention it at the end of the video but i am doing a giveaway right now here in this video so y'all can win the was popping beanie y'all can win this infinity mj arsenal rig and you can win this black ios station all brand new um and the, the beanie will be brand new too okay this one's mine i'm keeping this one but yeah um if you guys want to win all those things all you have to do is follow those super easy rules that will be down below in the description and then also drop a comment down below on this youtube video give it a big thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to me on youtube following mj arsenal on instagram and following me life being Desk, on instagram and also make sure you're following refuse the brown on instagram that is my merch account i'm also giving away this rig which is the royale rig and the green iOS station over on my Instagram and I recently just posted another giveaway on my Instagram so be sure to hit up my Instagram because we're also doing more giveaways over there okay it's litho um but back to the merch you guys tomorrow March 12th Friday a hey we lit though your girl is dropping a was popping collection hey i'm so excited i can't wait to see your guys's reaction to see your guys's feedback you know to see what you guys think of it but i've been working so hard on this collection i've been working on it since last year so i'm super excited to finally have it come out and just know that many more projects are on the way so stay posted for that and if it sells out and you're not able to cop anything just know that I have more things coming soon, so stay posted because I will admit this is a super wait, what did I just say? A super a super limited edition collection. So if you guys see something that you want a part of the collection, if you're able to, be sure to cop it as soon as you can because there's no guarantee that it will be available for long. I have this beanie, this says what's poppin'. I have my crop crew neck. These ones are super cute. They have the pink version of the was poppin' logo. And honestly, I would wear this every single day and I've been wearing it every single day. I knew with this collection, I was like, girl, I'm gonna come out with something that I legit would wanna wear every single day. Something that's gonna be high quality and that is gonna last through very, very, very many washes. So that's exactly what I came out with. And then let me just stand up real quick to show y'all. Hey, hey, oh my gosh, I'm so ratchet. But this is the What's Poppin' Joggers. Dude, they have freaking pockets. They got a little strings so you can make your booty look good. They even have a pocket back here, you know what I mean? So a man can grab his uh, booty. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and then also, um, I know not everybody is trying to rock a crop top. So don't worry, my honey boo boo. We still know what's popping. I created this crew neck. Hey, hey, hey. And it also has three stars down the sleeve because, you know, we always trying to stay lit, stay up and stay positive. So that is what that looks like, you guys. Also, I came out with phone cases. So I have the was popping and the was popping in pink and black so you guys could choose which one you like more. And there is also t-shirts available in the white and pink um, logos to say was popping. So if you guys are interested in that, then be sure to check out refusethebrand.com on March 12th, aka tomorrow, Friday. It's about to be lit though. So it drops tomorrow, you guys. So if you guys want it, be sure to set your alarms for 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, March 12th. I repeat, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, March 12th, refusethebrand.com. Okay, but now I need to take a hit. <laughs> All right, you guys, so my very first time taking a dab. This is going to be a fun story time. It's going to bring me back, back to the days where I didn't have to pay bills. Very nice, very good times. Okay. 
Every Friday in high school, we would meet at an In-N-Out because basically there was one high school right here, there was another high school over here, and we like we enjoyed hanging out with each other. We weren't like rivals. My high school was rivals with the high school that was over here, but we were like, hey, we cool with y'all. And so we were always trying to link, so we we're always trying to kick it. And between those two high schools were was in and out. So everybody from those two high schools would just go to in and out and then we would all see each other and hang out. So it was one of those Fridays where we're like, all right, let's mob to in and out so we can meet with all the homies and get lit. And I think I actually knew of this friend. I don't remember how, but I feel like this friend was just super popular and they were just known to have gas. Like, honestly, if you smoke really good ganja, you're going to just be popular and you're just going to be known for being that one bitch who is just always lit and always, you know, with that good kush. So that was one of my honey boo-boos, and I'm now going to hit this little baby. I honestly love this rig, too, because it has another little mini compartment, so you guys can actually keep your wax in there. Like, how freaking cute is that, you guys? How, how dope. So you don't even need, like, a little wax container. But, um, whatchamacallit. So, anyhow, luckily this friend that was, like, known with the gas was a male, and... You know, me and my girls were all females. So they were like, y'all trying to get lit? Say less. And, you know, they were trying to see us lit. Okay, and when I say they're trying to see us lit, I meant they're trying to see us on our ass. Because guess what they did? Guess what they did? I know y'all can guess. Just guess. I remember uh, I pulled up with my homegirl um, with these group of guys. We're at like a little park. It was actually right next to In-N-Out. And, um, you know, this is like the known park we would get lit at. And he pulls out like three, um, three, four, maybe five different, like, you know, those orange, like a card envelope. And uh, it had really cool uh, logos on them. I'm literally lit right now. I'm trying to tell a story. I'm like, uh, eh. Like, what am I saying? Okay, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm a little too late to function. It's been a long day. Honestly, it's been a long week. I've been working really hard on, you know, the new merch. I had to do my taxes this week. Just a lot of things. And I'm just like, oh. I got new furniture this week. I actually changed my whole apartment. So now I have to, like reorganize my closet i got a lot going on honestly i don't but like do y'all ever feel like there just isn't enough hours in the day i'm like i don't got that much going on but like there's just never enough time to do everything i need to do but like i'm still always trying to do more life is such a trip okay back to the story <laughs> you're always getting off tro off topic why am i like this okay i want to hit a bowl okay okay anyways <laughs> i need to stop talking uh, 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 what am I saying? I don't know the difference. To me, weed, one gram of weed, I know is like, you know, nug this big. So when they're picking up wax and they're like, look, you want this much? And it's literally like a fat ass glob. I'm thinking it's just a little tiny speck. And I'm like, yeah, I'm trying to get high as fuck for sure. Pass me that shit. And I go to hit it and I hear all the boys laughing and shit, right? And I'm just like, why are they laughing? Maybe because of the way I'm hitting the fucking rig. It's like one of my first times ever. Yeah, it actually was my first time ever hitting a rig. So I was like, maybe I'm not hitting it right. You know what I mean? Nah, I realized quickly that they sabotaged my ass because they just gave me way too fat of a dab, way too fat that I could possibly handle. And I remember I was coughing so hard, you guys. And what's so crazy is like, we didn't know back in the day, like even my friend didn't know that you needed to freak, oh shit. This was years ago, so I don't blame him. I'm sure he knows now. But back then, like none of us knew what temperature of a dab to take we thought you had to get that shit flaming hot red hot and then boom you hit that shit so not only was it a fat dab but that shit was so hot like literally 700 degrees plus 
Like, girl. Yeah, so, you know, I'm dying. I'm literally coughing my lungs out. And I didn't know what was going on. But now that I know about dabbing, I realize that I didn't clear the rig. And my homie who gave me the dab was telling me as I'm coughing right next to him and he's holding the rig, he's telling me, hit it again, hit it again. And I remember thinking he, it was a whole nother dab, but I'm probably thinking now it was probably just me who didn't clear it. So he's trying to get me to clear it probably. But I'm thinking he's trying to serve me a whole nother dab. So I'm like, hell no, I ain't about to hit a whole nother one. I'm still coughing over here. And he's like, no, hit it. Like really trying to get me to hit it. And when he freaking puts his hand out or puts the rig out like that and I'm like coughing you know when you're coughing you're like moving around um the nail touched the side of my arm I think it was this arm honestly I don't remember and it left a scar I don't know if I still have the scar I'm not wearing a shirt right now so I can't take off my sweater but um yeah I remember I had a nasty scar on the side of my arm for a minute and everybody kind of just told me like, oh, it's a dab scar, it's a dab scar, you're good, everybody has that, no biggie. So I kind of like brushed it off, trying to act like, oh yeah, it didn't hurt me, I'm so high, I don't even feel it. And everybody was tripping out like, you don't feel it? And I'm like, no, I'm really high. Like when I'm under pressure and when people are like looking at me, I can really put, not my feelings, because when I'm mad, I'm fucking mad. When I'm sad, I'm freaking sad. But my hurtness, like my uh, physical pain, <laughs> I could, I for some reason, I could put to the side. You know, like when I'm getting a shot or dealing with needles or anything like that, I never was one to cry in front of people. I was always one to just be like, fuck it, gotta do what I gotta do. You know, but if things hit me by surprise, like when someone just does you dirty oh i'm crying in front of you because i'm hit by surprise but if something's planned i'm like okay i'm already knowing what to expect why am i talking about this i'm supposed to be talking about a dabbing story i might as well dab so you may think that the story ends there but unfortunately it doesn't okay so <coughs> I let my homegirl know in advance, like, hey, um, I'm going to have to end up dipping soon because my mom's going to pick me up. And she's like, for sure, my mom's going to pick me up too. So we both go back to In-N-Out after we get dabbed the fuck out. And our moms pick us up. And then when my mom picked me up, she had low-key forgot that it was my sister's I don't think it was my sister's graduation, but I think it was like her homie, my sister's homie's graduation that like we were going to because like at the time they were hella close. So they were like fam. So like we're like, oh, okay, this is important to us, you know? And I didn't really know nobody. So I was like, huh, I'm just high as foot, tagging along. You know, I'm just a sister. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But um, my mom was all stressing. Like I just remember her, she was pissed. Like I was in a mellow high mood. And when my mom picked me up, I just remember she was, she was pissed. And it wasn't even at me. She was just like, I just got out of work. I got to pick your ass up. I got to pick her ass up. I got to pick homie's ass up. No, I'm just kidding. But she was just stressing because she wanted to be on time for everything. And, you know, of course, traffic and whatever, whatever. So she's driving all crazy, right? She's driving crack, crack, crack. And I am in the passenger seat and she's looking at me like Driving all crazy still but still looking at me like You know and I'm thinking oh she distracted she ain't gonna know But then she's looking at me like And then I'm just in the, I am you guys I just took a fat ass dab at the time I was eating meat So I ate a in and out burger and I ate an in and out burger and then I dabbed um um, so I ate the, I ate first and I don't think that's what you're supposed to do because I felt real sick, you know, real, 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 real sick, especially being in the, in the car with my mom driving like literally a hundred miles per hour and literally circles. So I was about to yak. I was honestly in the passenger seat with the window down like, please God, 
place. You know what I mean? And um, my mom was just like, I got somewhere to be, but like, what's good with you? But I got somewhere to be. And she ended up um, not really saying anything, but she did ask if I was okay a couple times. And I was like, yeah. I'm good, we, we chilling over her. And we end up pulling up to the graduation, okay? And we're running up in there. They're all in the middle of the ceremony. No, I'm just kidding. They're all like, I pledge allegiance to the flag. We're all like running. No, I'm just kidding. I just remember like walking up to wherever I had to be. Like maybe I went to the restroom, I don't know. But I remember walking up, you know, to where everybody was sitting, like my sister and stuff. Like they were already there and I walked up. Like I was kind of like the last one type shit. And I think I, that burnt me out because that made everybody look my way. And I was probably like, uh, like I probably looked so stoned out of my mind, you guys. Like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And my sister, she just started laughing. And my mom was like, oh hell no, something's going on here. And my sister is an OG real one because she didn't really snitch on me. She waited for the moment when they're like, ah, congratulations. And then everybody's screaming. And my sister literally creeps up to me and she's like, what the fuck are you on? And I'm just like, I hit some dabs. And she's just like, dabs and i'm like yeah from a rig and she's like oh shoot you're lit and i was like i am lit i should ask her if she remembers that i'm honestly gonna call her and ask her we're gonna ask if she remembers i have a question i might have an answer do you remember going to that one graduation and i was super high what do you mean I think I remember. I wish I didn't. But just remember my part, being high. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? I'm filming a video. Uh, bitch, I don't remember. That was so long ago. I think I remember because I remember I was high as fuck off. That was the first time I hit dabs. So that was the first time I hit a rig. And I freaking walk up to you where y'all were sitting in the bleachers. And you just started laughing at me. I bitch, I don't remember. And then, I, and then you waited until everybody started screaming and everybody was loud, so mom wouldn't hear. And then you came to me and you're like, "What do you want?" And I was like, "Oh, I hear." Oh, I hear bitch, you look lit. Cause you were still in like high school or something. Yeah. Like it's because your eyes were just bloodshot, I <laughs> and you, they were bloodshot, and they were cheeky as fuck. They so were I so red, huh? You. I remember just being like, damn, she's on a good one. Dude, I really was. Bro, I don't even remember, but I just remember you being high as fuck. Right, that's all I remember, literally. Just me yeah, being lit. Yeah, like stupid fucking high. Like too lit. <laughs> Too, bro. <laughs> and like I'm around hella people and I'm just like you dead made too lit being a thing. Oh my gosh, that was literally so freaking funny. She low-key like kind of forgot, but because I feel like I brought it up and like said some details, she was like, Oh my gosh, I do remember. And ever since now I always dab before I munch. Dab before you munch. Don't munch before you dab. Okay. On that note, I'm going to take one more dab and then go on munching. Thank you so much for watching this video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the story time. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if it was able to make your day a little bit brighter. Also, let me know down below in the comments any other video suggestions, story times, anything you guys want to see. And also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so y'all can become part of the Life Being Best Fam where our circle of positivity becomes bigger and bigger a single day and also be sure to check out refusedbrand.com tomorrow march 12th at 10 a.m pacific standard time because that's when the less popping collection will be out and available and it is super limited edition so 
might sell out i'm hoping it does of course but if it doesn't i mean better for you guys but if it does i'm sorry but then if it does thank you so much like oh my gosh i just i'm so thankful couldn't be more thankful and also a huge thank you to mj arsenal for all the amazing glass and for just being an amazing company in general love them and i hope you guys check them out because they're super dope and i'm a huge fan I hope y'all dig the merch and I hope y'all dig the glass pieces. But most importantly, I hope you guys stay lit, stay up, and stay positive. Shout out to my broken nail. Double dose until next time.